All right, I'm gonna show you how to access Quizlet and help it be more useful for you. So if your child is part of my class, they are already joined over here into a class and they just need to log in under Quizlet at quizlet.com and then click on their class that's on the left hand side. Once they do that, they can access any of the topics that are part of their class and there are a lot of them. And if they, it's not real easy to kind of look through to find an assignment. So I recommend on the type to filter to just start typing in. So if we were doing exponential growth and decay, if we just start typing in that word, the ones that are part of that, the assignments that are part of that will show up. And let's say we want to do exponential growth and decay. We'd click on there first. And I highly recommend doing the flashcard version first or the learn version first. These are two easier ways to start learning a topic. And then after you master those, you can certainly move on to the test or even the match or gravity games. And I'll show you that in a second. So for flashcards, I will click on flashcards if I hit play, it just runs it straight through and I don't have to use the mouse, but I'm, I'm going to manually do it. So it gives me the question here. I can think about it. I can have it read it if I want by pressing the audio and obviously check my answer just by clicking on the card. And then I can move on to the next one this way. But let's say the question was backwards. Let's say it listed that first. If it's listing you the answer first and not the question first, just go over to options. And then on options, instead of answering with term, I would just switch it to the other option, in this case definition, and then that would fix that for me. But this was actually correct, so I'm gonna switch that back. Okay, so after I run through the flashcards and I feel comfortable, now I can go back over here and I could try the learn feature. The learn feature is nice because it gives you multiple choice at the bottom. So here it's reducing by 30%. So I'd click there and it would tell me correct. And I believe after you get them all right twice, it says that you've mastered them. And I think if you miss one, it will go back and keep track of that and ask you that one again, which is a nice feature. Okay, and then the, the game mode, in this case, I'll show you, gravity would not be good in this case, the game mode, because you'd have to type in the whole question, which doesn't really make sense for this. So I might need to maneuver that and put term first. Let's see how this works out. So it's going to give me the question here, and then I have to type in the answer before it goes to the bottom. And if you end up typing it in wrong, so let's say here I typed it in wrong and said it was a decay of 10%. Okay. It's going to make me keep typing until I get it, but as soon as that goes all the way to the bottom of the screen, it's going to make me retype that. Let's see if it does that for me. Yes, it makes you type in the correct answer there. Actually, it's a decay of 20%, but retype the entire equation. As you can see, this is probably not efficient use of my time. So the game mode is only going to be good for certain assignments, normally when the answer is just like one number. Okay, and then match game is pretty nice too. That might be better for this one. So here I would try to find which equation matches the question. And then you try to match them up. If you get them wrong, it bumps it back. And then if you get them right, like for instance here, that's 6% growth, I would go over here and then it disappears and it keeps track of your time. All right, and that's how you can make Quizlet work for you. It's a great tool and you can get as much out of it as you want to.